And joining us now, former CIA Director John Brennan and former NATO Supreme Allied Commander James Stavridis. John Brennan, we have had other balloons, other surveillance balloons from China going over the United States, but the general made it very clear that the duration of the, this balloon hovering over the U.S. is why they, you know, they made it public. Um, why do you, why, what do you think is the intelligence significance of this? And do you accept their argument that they believe, without having hands-on, that this is not a military or intelligence threat, more so than the average Chinese satellite? Well, Andrea, I think there's been an intensive intelligence collection against this balloon ever since it entered U.S. airspace several days ago. And so, therefore, I think that the intelligence community is trying to assess exactly what those capabilities are. But what the general said, I think, is significant. First of all, he's refuted the Chinese allegation that it's a civilian meteorological or weather balloon that's straight off course. Uh, it's clear that uh, he said that this is a surveillance balloon, which means that it's probably visual observation as well as technical collection capabilities that are over the continental United States, and including over some sensitive military sites. And we know that the Chinese have uh, decided recently to increase their strategic nuclear forces. And so might this be the opportunity for them to have this relatively low altitude uh, surveillance capability, much lower than the satellites that they have, over areas of the United States where they can dwell and collect intelligence and in trying to make the excuse that it was just straight off course. So I do think it's critically important that the United States send a very clear message to China. And I think the postponement of Secretary Blinken's travel to Beijing is a clear signal in that regard. And also, um, I think at some point they may decide to take it out of the skies. We certainly have the right to do that. It's our sovereign airspace. But I think, as the general alluded to, this payload seems to be significant, probably several hundred pounds. And if it's shot down, it's not going to burn up like a satellite would burn up as it comes out of an, an orbit. And, and so, therefore, I think what they're trying to do is to make sure that they deal with this very uh, thoroughly, but also do it in a manner that's not going to cause any type of um, unnecessary harm or damage uh, to people and to facilities here in the United States. Amos Davides, as long as I've been covering uh, our missile deployment, we have a number of missile bases in the central part of the United States and out west. This balloon could be collecting a lot of intelligence. Indeed. And by the way, not just intercontinental ballistic missiles up there at Minot, North Dakota, as you well know, you've probably right. flown in one of them, a long range strategic bomber. So, two legs of the triad up there. Um, I, I do have to say there's a whole Saturday Night Live quality to this, particularly the line from the general when pressed on, where is this thing, which to me is a pretty answerable question. He said, well, the American public can look up in the sky and, and see it. That'll be on Saturday Night Live, I guarantee it. Um, here's <laughs> what's important and kind of getting lost in the traffic a bit is I think this is a signal from China and they are very displeased with two things. One is, the U.S. being granted access to bases in the northern Philippines on the island of Luzon, effectively closing a string of basing that runs from Japan through South Korea, through the Philippines, down to Australia. They're upset about it. Number two, they saw the U.S. Marine Corps stand up the first new Marine Corps base in 70 years. It's in Guam, Camp Blaze, and it's going to provide the the hub of logistics to the spokes of all these other bases. So I, for one, and I certainly uh, will learn a lot more in the next few days, as Director Brennan has said, um, this looks like a signal to me. And for Tony Blinken to say, you know what, this isn't a good time for me to come and do toasts with my ties in Beijing, I think is a smart move to indicate our displeasure. And final thought, um, we had to continue collecting on it before we shoot it down. Eventually, I think we're going to have to shoot this thing down. And I know the Pentagon is working those options and will present them with the president. Um, we're going to have to do that, I would guess, rather than let this thing just drift in the skies over the United States. And John Brennan, uh, the decision to postpone this trip uh, as the Admiral just said, there's no way that he could be in China and out of 
pocket, you know, in terms of the visuals in the air for long stretches going to and from. And but in China on the ground and doing anything diplomatic and visual, while we potentially might have to shoot it down, might have to take action, and while there is going to be a split screen with that balloon hovering if it's still up there. But this is perhaps China seeing the moves in the Philippines. General Austin was there just last week. Uh, of course, go dial back to what we saw a couple of years ago with our decision on the submarine for Australia. The administration has been moving aggressively to try to uh, create deterrence and to protect Taiwan, Taiwan long term, correct? Yes, and as Admiral Stavita said, there are multiple dimensions to this U.S.-Chinese relationship. Whether you're talking about Taiwan or the Philippines or Guam, cyber issues, trade. Right. Uh, and so, therefore, we have to look at this surveillance balloon in the context of this broader relationship that is going through quite a bit of tension. And I, I do think it's appropriate that uh, Secretary Blinken postpone this trip. I think we have to send a very clear signal to China that this is unacceptable, sending this surveillance balloon into our airspace. And I think the administration right now is weighing the options that they have in addition to shooting down the balloon, what also they might decide to do to try to send a signal back to China that we're not just going to turn the other cheek on some of these things. So again, I think this is a, a complex relationship that has multiple dimensions. And I do think the administration is dealing with this as, as effectively as they can at this point. John Brennan, Admiral James Davides, thank you all so very much. Thanks to hey, both of you. Andrea, one last point. Yes. Um, there will be more balloons. Um, get used to it. It's a seriously, it's a emerging significant technology. Director Brennan knows that very well. Um, mm. This won't be the last time you and I are talking about balloons. Thanks. And perhaps the value is also that it is seen by the American public.